were just watching the configuration management panel at Open Source Bridge. Um, uh, here we might have a few people who are enjoying that, and I'd like to see you come back to the OS Bridge website later to watch the conclusion of that very interesting panel. But right now we're going to get back to the strange of live streaming and interviewing, and right now we've got Matt Douglas from Open Source Digital Voting Foundation, OSDV. Hi, Matt. Hi there. How you doing? Very good. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to have you on. Yeah. Where can we find you on Twitter and online? Um, you can find me at Trust the Vote on Twitter and online at TrustTheVote.org. Mm -hmm. And at iCount on Also Twitter. at iCount. Yes. What is the Trust the Vote project? Um, the Trust the Vote project is an open source initiative by something called the Open Source Digital Voting Foundation. Mm -hmm. And uh, the OSDV is uh, a public benefit corporation. Um, we're working on our 501c3 right now, and um, our whole goal is to develop an end-to-end -end, uh, open source platform for election management. Mm -hmm. So everything from registering to vote, to casting your ballot, to counting your ballot, all done through open source. So are you guys here at the OS Bridge uh talking about this or are you guys trying to collect information or a little bit of both? Um, we're, we're really at OS Bridge to let people know about us. Mm -hmm. uh, we've sort of been flying under the radar and um, uh, we're really excited because uh, we think we're doing some things that really set us apart from other folks. Um, the first thing is is that uh, there, are, there are a lot of groups that are looking at voting technology in uh, the United States um, but most of them are think tanks. Mm -hmm. So we're not writing white papers, and uh, what we're actually doing is we're building technology that people can see, touch, and try. Mm -hmm. And um, and we're, we're working on developing that whole suite of tools and um, getting it certified uh, nationally as well as the state level so it can be that can be used. So no matter how much um, the voting process has changed since its inception, it, it's still not that different than it used to be. I mean, it's still everything is counted, everything goes along. We've gone from writing in names and putting in little slips of paper to, you know, Scantron bubbles. How will this make a significant change? Well, the, the truth is, is that not all votes are counted. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a problem. We have um, the we have, after the 2000 elections, and, and we had problems there. Yes, we um, sure did. <laughs> in, in, in 2002, um, there was legislation passed that, that told companies to come in and start working on technology that was going to fix a lot of these problems. Mm -hmm. And the result was actually more problems, not fewer. Um, we still don't have a senator, a second senator from Minnesota, and the election happened a long time ago. So. Um, what, what we're seeing is a lot of problems, and our belief is that there are pieces of infrastructure that belong to you and me, mm -hmm. so like our roads and our power grid. Those mm -hmm. are things that we own, but and we would consider them um, critical infrastructure to making our lives work the way that we take for granted. But there's also critical democracy infrastructure, which is not necessarily who you vote for, but how you vote. Mm -hmm. And that isn't owned by you and me, that's owned by corporations. And right now it's owned by four companies, and we think that by the end of the year, there might only be two and maybe one company that run that it's not both all well of our elections. democracy in general. Yeah, totally. So, so here we are, we're, we're looking at two, maybe one, with a black box. That we can't tell how things are working. Mm -hmm. And so our advocacy is to go from black box technology to glass box technology. Which is a very open source way of putting yeah. things. Okay. So why haven't we heard more to date about Trust the Vote? Um, we have, we've sort of been sliding under the radar and... Um, uh, we're, we're starting to come out uh, now and, and really try to let people know who we are and what we're doing. Um, in particular, we have a partnership right now with uh, Rock the Vote. And Rock the Vote, um, in this last election, was responsible for well over two and a half million new registrations, which accounted for about 70% of all the new registrations in the United States. Mm -hmm. And um, our partnership with them is on a registration suite. 
So we're going to be building that, and we think within the next three years, about 90% of all new registrations in the United States are going to be using our software. So Rock the Vote has been going on for, I remember yes. when I was a yeah. teenager watching MTV. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you guys been working on Trust the Vote? Um, we've been in existence a little over two years, so we're fairly new. Mm -hmm. um, but but the, the technology for open source is, is coming along now to a point where what we're working on is really possible. And we think that aligning ourselves with, with groups um, are really on both sides of, of the aisle and, and that sort of thing are, are really important because we're not a partisan group. We don't have an agenda about who you should vote for or um, how elections director, directors should manage elections processes. What we're trying to do is actually have the technology in place so that there is transparency in how an election is held and then we think that having that transparency leads to trust. Mm -hmm. And if we can trust the system, um, then we can move on to sort of bigger and better things. Uh, is that transparency that you guys want a uh, part of why open source works so well for this project? Yes, definitely. I mean, there's, there's two kinds, there's two ways of like looking at open source, right? Open source is like a really great buzzword. You say, oh, we're doing open source. It's and such a broad spectrum. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, back early in like, you know, 1998, 99, people were like dot com at the end of whatever they were working on. Yeah. All of a sudden, everybody's ears perked up. Um, same is true for open source. For, for us, what open source means is not only using open source languages mm -hmm. and open source platform to develop what we're working on, but also that we have... Um, open licensing so that what we build belongs to the people of the United States. So we're turning it over into a public repository that will be owned by you and me mm -hmm. and is viewable by anybody who knows open source and wants to come in and check the code. So we think that really that would that, that allows us to go in and usher a new era uh, for how elections are held in the United States. If someone uh, is moved, if someone uh, wants to be more involved, how can they be? Good question. Um, I would say go to trustthevote.org. Mm -hmm. um, uh, right now it's a very simple page. You can basically sign up in order to follow what we're doing and, and learn about us. Uh, follow us on, on Twitter uh, and really talk about us. Um, you can. We have uh, our code as it stands now on GitHub. Um, it's all very sort of technical if the audience is, is into that, but but uh, but, really, audience, but, yeah. really, <laughs> but but really but uh, really the the thing that people can do is to start to start talking about us. Okay. We want to be part of the conversation, talking about not necessarily what your politics are, but how elections are held. Not the what the specifics of your politics, right. but the politics exactly. are important. That we can all agree on that, that there are th many things that we disagree about, mm -hmm. and necessarily, but that we should we should all agree that every vote should be counted. All right. And we think open source is the way to do that. All right. So trustthevote.org, trust at the vote. trust the vote on Twitter, and it what was the uh, I count on Twitter. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Matt. Thanks, Cammy.